Hey everybody, it's Comp Help. Thank you for watching this video, which is part 15 and also the final part to my 3D Studio Max series for beginners. All right, so in this awesome tutorial, I'm actually gonna go over the very basic lighting. And to do that, I actually have a sample project file that I'm going to open up here. So let me go to my desktop. There it is, as a test. All right, so this scene actually doesn't make any sense, but I just kind of slapped it together super quick just to give you guys an idea here. And I actually am going to lift this up a bit because it's bothering me. Okay, so I have some random uh, Taurus going on here. Um, I have a teapot, which doesn't make sense material-wise. And, well, let's go ahead and render this and see what it looks like. And this is the default uh, this is the default 3ds Max lighting. So let's render this. And as you can see, it's a scanline renderer. And, okay, so it doesn't look too bad because you can see I added some spec levels and some bump. Bump probably is way too high, but uh, you can tell I added, you know, some stuff there. And, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and and really quickly add the lighting. Now I'm going to show you a very simple light, a very, very simple light. And um, we'll see what, uh, what you think of it after. And maybe this will be something that you'll use in the future. Now, of course, you have your default lights right here, lights, and then you have your target lights, free lights, and you also have your standard and photometric lights and such like that. And if you want, you can go ahead and play with those. Uh, such as, you know, target spot. If you click and drag, you know, it'll uh, light up that part of the scene and Oh, you can make it like that okay so you can go ahead and play with the lights in that sense but if you are a super beginner and you need some help to get this light see how it's like a hard edge and stuff uh, you go ahead in the modify panel and you play around with all these things the multipliers the intensity uh, attenuation uh, all this stuff right here okay you can add shadows take shadows off um, change the size of uh, just everything. Trust me, you, you have a lot of options to uh, to play with these lights. And if you want to go over lights, uh, what you want to do is look up another tutorial or something. I'm going to show you a very basic way to light your 3D scenes here, okay? Uh, just for beginner's sake, so you can get your projects up and running. Okay, so what I want to do is go over to the Create tab and simply go over here to the Systems. And we're going to select something called Daylight and click Yes. Now, for daylight to work, what you have to do is click and drag, and you'll get this compass looking thing, okay, northwest, east, south, or northeast, southwest, whatever you want to say, okay, and then you just pull up or down, okay, pull up and click. Now you can see it's like way super intense over here. <laughs> Let's go to the modify panel. Let's switch this from uh, sunlight standard to, to mental ray sun. And also we'll do the skylight to mental ray sky, and click yes when that comes up. It's going to send, change a bunch of settings for you. And also, we need to change the position to manual. Um, and that would work great. Unless you have a specific date, time, and location. If you're doing like architecture work, go to setup and you can set that up. But uh, I'm not going to do that. Okay. All right. So, anyways, I'm just going to set it to manual. And now we can freely move around our, our quote, quote, sun. Okay. And you can see how it's affecting the perspective view down there. Okay. And I mean, if we go over to the left view, we can actually bring this down some, right? So yeah. Also, play with the position of the lighting, because depending on where you put it, just like the real sunlight, I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, depending on the different times of the day, the light, the color, the color of the light changes. I'm sorry, I can't talk. Apparently, the color of the light changes depending on what time of the day uh, you are in. Okay, so uh, remember, play with the position of the lighting. Uh, pay, play with the height of the light. Um, also, play with the multiplier. It may come out like super bright here. So let's zoom in a bit and uh, let, let's take a shot here. So let's take a render. And remember, this is with the scanline renderer. So just take a really quick rendering. All right, so you see it's super, super intense. And what we can actually do is bring down the multiplier to whatever you like. Maybe let's cut it in half, 5.5. And okay, I mean, still super intense, but I mean, you just really just play around with it. I don't know. Okay, so I mean, okay, that's, that's fine. Um, and also, if I render this out, you'll see that the shadows are super dark. Now, how do we get a better look? Well, this is where in the last video I showed you about rendering. And let's go ahead and render this out. Let's go to the render settings, and we'll go down so single. You know, you've gone over all the rendering settings before. I'm going to just change the renderer from scan line over to mental ray. Click render. 
And this should uh, make it look more realistic, give it some better uh, color, more detail, uh, actually make the shadows make sense and stuff like that. And there you go, your scene isn't so, uh, isn't so newbie anymore, you know, you, you actually get some things that look real. Of course, these textures may not be the best. Um, some of the bump maps may, may be too high. This texture right here on this teapot doesn't make any sense. And, you know, this isn't a complete scene, but it's just for demo purposes. So, there you go. That's how you add really simple lighting um, in your scene. I really hope you, you've enjoyed this, this basic tutorial. Uh, please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if it helped you out in any way, if it helped out uh, your scenes in any way. Also, thank you. I just, I just want to thank you for checking out my series, my 3D Studio Max series. This is the last video of the series, and now I can move on to other things. Um, I've actually had some uh, people wondering, because I, I do 3D projects on my own, and I've had people ask me how, how I do some of the stuff I do, and well, this is pretty much what I do here. I, I just, it's a, it's a, you know, step-by-step -step process of modeling, texturing, lighting, uh, rendering, and that's really all it is. And if you guys have the passion or uh, want to dive into this stuff more, you're welcome to. Using the techniques I've showed you, you can definitely look up more advanced tutorials online through Google search or YouTube search and totally take off from here and surpass my skills. All right, so thank you for watching this video. Once again, please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. All links will be in the description. Um, yeah, and if, you, if you're watching this video for the first time right here, the first video of the series that you've seen, there's 14 other videos in the series. Uh, go ahead and... And check them out. All right, so thank you for watching.